I'm Marlene from Good Eatings and today I'm here to share with you my second monthly favorites video and of course it's the beginning of May so I'm sharing my favorites of April and I'm gonna tell you that it's not gonna be as expensive as my last one because we've been traveling again and we're in Copenhagen now so I don't have the luxury of all my things around me but I have some favorites that I'd like to share with you and it's more or less kitchen stuff so I hope you'll enjoy it let's start and I thought I'd start with these um, salad forks or salad no that's not what you say salad tongs maybe and I got these in South Africa when I was there and I think they're really nice I don't know I'm sure you could get them in many places around the world, similar ones. Um, but yeah, I've been enjoying these. And following along from that, I'm in an Airbnb right now and we found these micro planes here. And I've heard and seen these in lots of videos and other people's kitchens, but I haven't ever had uh, some for myself and I've never really tried using them either. But these are some great utensils for cooking i mean i don't really like chopping ginger and grating it never really seems to work that great i mean on a standard grater but on this uh, fine microplane it's amazing and for making salads for like shredding vegetables this is really great it's a bigger one and yeah i'm definitely gonna have to invest in some of these for myself i'm a bit jealous of the of the host and then uh, one more thing that I've been enjoying sort of around the kitchen are these little porcelain bowls. I don't know, they're not really bowls. They're, um, they're great for sauces or for um, seeds or salt and pepper to put on the table when you're eating and uh, for everyone to take a pinch of and I got these in Sweden in January actually but yeah I've been using them a lot since then and I, I wanted to show you and I got these at Lagerhaus which is a interior shop in Sweden um, but I'm sure again that you could find similar um, little bowls for your kitchen where you are whether it's in Sweden or Denmark or America wherever but these are really nice. I like the lighter rim and I'm into blue, so I like these. And then moving on to some things you can actually eat. <laughs> I've been, um, I've rediscovered the combination of raisins and almonds. And this has been my favorite snack since we arrived here in Copenhagen. Um, to be honest, most things are quite expensive here, so we're taking our um uh, we're having a budget basically and um yeah raisins and almonds are sort of on the cheaper scale i guess when it comes to dried fruit and nuts and what i like to do is take two raisins and one almond and that then i just eat it like that and i'd say this is great for taking in your bag like in a little um ziploc bag or a uh, little jar maybe even and just have as a snack on the go or keep it in your desk at work or take it to school or whatever you want but that's my favorite snack at the moment then moving on from there I have my favorite tea and it's this fennel tea and I've tried other fennel teas but I've come back to this uh, one that I first found in Germany and then I found it in South Africa and I'm not quite sure where else you can get this brand but it's called Tea Kanne and it's just the plain fennel tea it's really good and it's even good if you have some if you make a whole pot and you have some left over to just put the whole pot or yeah if you want to put it in a glass do that but just to put it straight in the fridge and then drink it cold or if you saw my um, Cape Town what I eat in a day video I also like to use it in my porridge it gives it a really nice flavor so that's a tip from me to you and then the last thing you can eat that is my favorite right now is miso paste 
And if you're not cooking with miso paste, I really recommend that you try it. Right now I'm enjoying this um, lighter uh, miso paste. It's a little bit sweeter and a little bit lighter on the, on the flavor. It's not as heavily salty, I find, as the darker ones. Although I do enjoy the darker ones too, but I think it's the fact that it's spring and I'm eating lighter food that I'm enjoying this lighter miso paste. And basically what miso is, is a fermented soya bean product. And it can have other grains and things in there too, I think. But um, yeah, basically that's what it is. So it's great for your tummy. It has some probiotics in there. And just one little tip if you're gonna cook with it don't ever boil miso or like really heat it up if you're adding it to a soup for example you should add it after you've like cooked the soup just at the end to flavor it rather than cook it because then you take out the goodness of the miso and i've um actually made a recipe using this lighter miso this month that's on my blog it's for a I called it a spring fling rice bowl and I made a miso vinaigrette or a miso dressing for that and it's really good. So if you want to try something with miso, you can go check it out and I'll put the description, not the description, I'll put the link to that recipe in the description box down below so you can find it. And then last but not least, this is a short and sweet monthly favorites video is a place here in Copenhagen that both Rob and I have really been enjoying and it seems whenever we go for a walk we end up there and it's the Assistance Kyrkegård. I don't know if I'm saying that right, I probably sound Norwegian right now, <laughs> but I don't mind. <clears throat> and it's a really lovely churchyard in Norrebro. Again, I probably sound Norwegian saying that. <laughs> But it's a big enclosed churchyard that is more or less used as a park by the inhabitants of Copenhagen and um, it's great for walking around. It's really serene. You forget that you're in the city actually and yeah, it's really lovely. In some parts it's like you're in a forest and other parts it's really open with lots. Right now there's lots of cherry blossoms blooming all over the place and you can just see spring arriving in that park and if you ever come to Copenhagen you should definitely visit this churchyard and um, yeah this is it for my favorites this time I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching and um, yeah you know what to do if you enjoy the video please give me a thumbs up let me know any of your thoughts in the comments field and subscribe if you like what I do here on my channel. And until next time, take care. Bye.